Just Minding My Business Radio, where we are moving at the speed of God, learning what we didn't know we didn't know. I'm your host, Ida Crawford. And I'm your co-host, Ruth Haskins. So grab a pen and paper and get ready for information that you can use. The greatest thing in this world is not so much where we stand as in what direction we are moving. Where do you stand with your business? Is it moving in the right direction? Just Minding My Business Media LLC is about moving your business in the right direction. Become known for your products or services on JMB Radio Podcast, heard in over 200 countries. Or if you're ready to take the leap, move to Mindset Movers TV as a host or series producer, broadcasting to the combined audience of Roku and Fire TV. Let's move in the right direction together. Contact us at JMB Radio at gmail.com. Welcome to Just Minding My Business Media LLC. Nothing is at last sacred but the integrity of your own mind. Ralph Waldo Emerson, Self-Reliance. A.J. Alvitwala is a specialist in discovering, planning, and executing customized online marketing strategies for businesses to attract massive amounts of online traffic. He has worked with over 200 companies around the country and with businesses in places like Dubai. Given the massive success at Calis to Arc, A.J. launched L Apps in 2021 a mobile app development company, and is currently serving clients from coast to coast. As a result of AJ's deep reach within the local business community, Callisto Art became the Upper Tampa Bay Chamber of Commerce 2020 Small Business of the Year Award recipient. AJ gives back to the community through nonprofits, Project Pop Drop, Upper Tampa Bay Education Foundation, and Oldsmar Cares. Welcome, AJ. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Yes, welcome. I'd like to start off with how did you get involved with online marketing? So uh, back in the day, and when I say back in the day, uh, probably you know twenty years ago, we uh, when when I say we, my partner Ravi and I, we were just in college, and we had some requests around um, website development. And now uh, we had literally no clue what we were doing, but we just <laughs> threw something together. And uh, it was, I don't even think we, we charged anything. And we throw, threw something together, we got it out there, and people started liking it. And I'm talking about the days of Flash, you know, when you had Flash around. <laughs> and that's how, you know, it came to be. And uh, we just started off as a website development company. Oh, okay, because today, as we well know, online marketing is huge. Now, everybody, um, you know, there's all kinds of webinars and how-tos and all of that kind of stuff. So, with your company, how do you support people in the online space? We still have... Uh, website development as our main bread and butter. And then we also have taken it another step forward by providing search engine optimization. One of the other things which we do is uh, we create mobile apps and we launched a new brand called Ellie Apps uh, just last year to support uh, app development. And when I say apps, mobile, true mobile apps as well as web apps. These are the, uh, the the few things which we do at Callisto Art. So website creation, mobile apps, web apps, and search engine optimization. Most of the clients who come to us, they already have a website, and then they want to take it to the next level. And that's where they get in touch with us, and we look at what they already have, and then take them on that journey of creating a high-conversion website, and we can even uh, look at their branding and whether the branding is something uh, that they are interested in. And we can get that branding aspect going on as well. So uh, that, that's kind of, you know, how we uh, help our clients. Now, in terms of website development, um, a lot of people don't really understand the magnet to that, to, yeah. to magnetize people. And I heard you say something about conversion from your website. So how is that achieved? We, you know, users spend literally 
milliseconds getting that first impression out, right? You know, when you when they visit a website, visit any website, it's going to impress you or it's not going to impress you, right? You know, within milliseconds. And if it doesn't impress you, you're off to your competitor. Now, the, mm. the approach we take is we want to make sure that you create that magnetism using images, pictures, because we live in a environment now where people want things fast and people really want to get to what they are looking for as soon as possible, right? So rather than giving them a lot of fluff, we get to the point and we create a flow in a website where we see that high conversion, where we introduce a user with a uh, attractive image or a video which shows the end state of what where you can be once you consume the products or the services that the our clients have to offer. So the end state is very important. You know, it's a very happy uh, feeling. It's it's a it's a it's a it's a it might be a picture of a family who's smiling. It might be a client who's shaking hands with you. It might be a place where. That, that's where that's your happy place right so mm -hmm. maybe a picture or an image or, or something like that we make sure that that is out there and then number two thing is we want to have some uh, we want to have a uh, statement which tells your clients immediately the services which you have to offer all the products which you have to offer so that's the second thing and it's a statement it's not a vision statement or a mission statement something uh, which looks like a paragraph because then you know you know you are you're making people read more without really getting to the point now you can have that in, in, in another place in the website nothing wrong with having that but you want to get to the point quickly then the third thing you probably want to do is have your products or services as uh, you know logos uh, as okay uh, we provide this and we provide that and we provide this other thing just three things you might have like 10 different services but don't try to talk about the 10 different services uh, on your home page of your website just provide some nuggets which are easily digestible and then once they digest those then if they want to learn more then they will obviously get deeper into the content and explore more. Because if you really think about it, the first impressions are now created online for any business or for a person. And when you meet that person face to face and you, uh, you shake hands, that's the second impression. If you are not creating that first impression as glowing as possible, then you are really losing an opportunity where you can make that second and the third and ultimately do business with someone. Yeah, so I heard state make a statement, have some pictures, um, happy pictures that make that pull people in, make people feel good. Give and a statement. A, and then just give a snippet, you know, no more than three items for your business. Yeah, yeah. Three three items because you know it's a. Um, because, you know, it's an odd number, it's going to look better on a website rather than an even number where you see like four boxes of things. Right. Um, right. You can do three or if you have a lot of services, then, then go to six. So you basically place two rows, uh, three, you know, you basically stack three and three. Uh -huh. okay. So the, the statement that you make, is that more or less a tagline? Uh, so it's not just a tagline. It, it, you know, the tagline can be close to your logo. Uh, if you have a tagline, you can, you can place that. Now the, the statement, the structure of the statement will be, here are my products and all the services. Here is how we are different. So you provide uh, a, a statement. And here is here's the product, our services. Here's how we are different. Now this is applicable to any business, right? You know, anyone who's who's having a business, or it can be a coach, 
can be a trainer, it can be an attorney who's running a personal injury law firm, it can be a dentist, it can be a doctor. Tell how you are different from everyone else out there for the products or the services you offer. You can have different angles to that. You can talk about maybe an award you have won for the products or the services you offer. Uh, for us, it can be the 2020 Small Business of the Year recipient. And then we can show our website development, uh, search engine optimization as two keywords in there. You got to get creative with that. You know, there's no hard and fast rule, but make sure you put that out there. Then as a mission statement or a vision statement, because uh, people, people digest content better when it's under 15 words. Now, when I'm looking for something in particular, I read because, and then I'll, I'll go from website to website, read what it is, because I'm looking for something in particular. And I will read the website. Now, one of the things I do not like is websites that have a lot of flash. Right. What do you, what is, what's your thoughts about that? So I know you, you bring a great point, right? So uh, I don't want anyone who's listening in to misinterpret what I just mentioned earlier. Having attractive images or video doesn't mean that, you know, you're not going to have me to, to the website or for the products or the services, right? Our own website, Kalistua.com has over 100 web pages. So there's a lot of content in there and they, they are not just images. What you want to do is pull them in and then get them as quickly as possible to the content they need to be reading. The, the reason why I, why I said that, you know, you don't want to have a lot of text content in the homepage is because, as you said, people don't want to read anymore. Okay. So they want to uh, look through pictures, see whether they make sense, emotional connection to what you're looking for. And then they do they will click on that image or just the text below it to read more about it. So it's a matter of presenting the opportunities that's out there for someone to do business with you, getting them to the right content as soon as possible. And I'll use ourselves as an example. We might get a client who is just interested in doing search engine optimization. If we have uh, a, a huge, par a long paragraph about website development up front, they might think that, oh, these guys only do website development and then they are off to another website, right? But if, if we show, we do website development, we do search engine optimization, we do mobile apps development, then, then there is an opportunity for for them to go to, you know, which are the which are the, uh, the product or the service that they are interested in. And then they can uh, click on it, click on that logo, learn more about it in another page rather than trying to read a paragraph or two uh, right on the home page. Okay, well, that makes sense. Now, you're on mobile apps. Basically, people have mobile apps. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people really don't know how to use them effectively. So can you talk about that a little bit? Absolutely. Um, when it comes to uh, mobile apps, I, I think you know, we really cannot blame the users if someone can't use a mobile app. That means it's poorly designed. So you got to blame the designers for, for that particular mobile app. If you uh, look at any of the newer gadgets which comes out, right? You know, whether it's the latest iPhone or the Android phone, right? There's no instructional manual. There's none. You open up the box, there's no instructional manual. If you think five years ago, the phones came with the instructional, instructional manual. Right? Yeah, now right. there is none because it should be intuitive enough where it's self-explained. So the, the, the flow needs to be there. The, the customer journey needs to be thought through. So that way, when someone lands on a mobile app, they know exactly what to do with it. And most mobile apps are created with a single 
function in mind. It's to do this. It's to take pictures. This is to uh, scan documents. It's for uh, controlling my alarm system, right? We don't have multiple things going on in a mobile app and or, or it shouldn't. Look at Facebook, right? You know, I mean, you cannot even find anything in there because they've changed it so much and there's so much content in there, right? Th- th- that type of thing. But a lot of mobile apps are now getting to be uh, for a single purpose, which is an awesome thing. So you can you can have an app which does this one thing and not multiple things. And um, if someone cannot figure out how to use a mobile app, unfortunately, it's not their problem. It's the uh, designer's problem or the developer's problem. Okay. okay. We've come into a different age. It's based on the consumer has to know. If they don't know, they have to educate themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the consumers have to educate themselves, and then the people who create these these mobile apps, you know, they they have to have uh, they have to create it at the eighth grade level, right? Uh-huh. So if someone who's in eighth grade can use it, yeah, there's some kids who are five years old who can use it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely yeah. right. So how do people get in contact with you? Yeah, so uh, the easiest thing they can do is uh, they can go to aja.com. That's my personal website. Go to aja. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not aja.com. It's aja360.com. aja360.com. And you'll see a pop-up. You can close that and you'll see uh, a button which says contact. So you click on that. And all my contact information now there is out there, whether it's a LinkedIn profile or uh, my uh, phone numbers, everything is out there. And uh, I welcome anyone to go check out the uh, Callisto Art uh, mm-hmm. website, which is K-A-L-L-I-S-T-O-A-R-T dot com. And uh, you'll be able to get in touch with me through that as well. Callisto Art, is that, that's your mobile app? Uh, so Clistoart is the uh, company which started everything. We created a new brand called Eliapps, E L L E A P P S dot com. But but uh, whether you go to Clistoart dot com or you go to Eliapps dot com, uh, you'll be able to you know find the contact information there. Uh, we are in the process of launching another brand called Total SEO Magic. I don't have a website for that yet. The Total SEO Magic dot com. Uh, will be launched here shortly. And that would be about? Yes. That will be about uh, search engine optimization. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Which, yeah. That was going to be my next question about SEO. And a lot of people definitely don't think about that. I didn't at one point. But now I do because I see the value of it. So can you talk a little bit about SEO? Absolutely. So um, back in the day, when you create a website, then your website will automatically be pulled up on Google. But now there are over a billion uh, websites. So just because you launch a new website doesn't mean that, you know, it's automatically get indexed uh, in Google. So uh, think about it as, um, you know, getting your name in yellow pages. You know, that does not happen automatically unless you reached out to yellow pages back in the day. Right. And you said that, okay, here's my info, right? So the same thing with Google nowadays. Uh, Google automatically does not pick you up. It will eventually, but that can take a long time. What we do is we help Google find you by proactively pushing information about the products, the services you have to offer to Google and also your name, your phone number, your address, all of that gets pushed towards Google. Um, uh, as part of our search engine optimization service, we also manage your Google My Business profile. That is a uh, very important consider- consideration when it comes to SEO, because at the end of the day, Google is the big brother of the internet, right? So it, it pretty much controls what people see. And then if you are not um, having a strong presence in your Google My Business profile, the, the kind of the uh, transparency you will get with Google will be not that great. We manage the Google My Business profile 
then we create uh, backlinks, we create some off-page content, uh, off-website content, which basically sits behind the website, not connected to the main navigation. And we push this out about the products or the services that you have to offer. And Google picks all of this up. And now at the end of each month, we create a, a report which is pulled directly from Google Analytics and share that with uh, the services uh, or the, the, the clients we service. So that way they get to see uh, what we have been doing and how their rankings have gone up over the months. Yeah, that's, that's Google is king, that's for sure. And everybody Absolutely. else follows Google. So yeah. it's like that. And, and it took me a minute to get into that because it's, it's intensive. You really have to pay attention pretty much daily. And most people can't do that. So having a company like yourself, you guys focus on looking at that stuff all day long. You probably have tools that go out and search all day long, making sure everything is everything, you know, seeing the ranking because those analytics are, are critical. True, like, true. Know. And um, the, the, Google, the, the other thing about Google is you know, it keeps on uh, changing their algorithm, right? Yes. So that's, as you said, you know, you got to keep up with it. So we got a team at Callisto Art who's dedicated just for search engine optimization and that's all they do all day long and they are the same team who will be behind Total SEO Magic as well because there's so much which changes almost on a daily, weekly basis. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are not keeping up with it, you, you know, you're, you're going to get behind. We have had the privilege of bringing people who are not even in the top 100 results to number one position in uh, heavily uh, competitive industries such as legal, uh, because we always try to stay in the forefront of you know what's going on in the uh, wild west world of search engine optimization and nowadays you need a company managing that the business owner cannot do that yeah you i mean you you know you can do a uh, few things by yourself and i'll be more than happy to uh, share those with the listeners make sure you get a Google My Business Profile. That's number one. It's free. Just go to business.google.com. You get a Google My Business Profile. Even if you're a coach or a trainer or you have an audience, you're an attorney or a doctor, you know, whomever, get your Google My Business Profile. Now, the second thing you ought to do is making sure that the name of your business stays consistent across all social media platforms. Now, if you call, um, you, you know, your business, Minding My Own Business Media, LLC, make sure that you have that the same name across all platforms. Don't even omit the LLC in one, in one platform when you have it in another. Make sure it's the same name. Make sure the phone number is the same. Make sure the address is the same. So there's something called the NAP consistency. Name, address, phone number. This is something which you are in total control when it comes to Google. So for anyone listening in, make sure you are NAP consistent. Name, address, and phone number across all platforms uh, where you have some kind of a presence. Okay. Yes. Wow. This has been really interesting, AJ. I've picked up, I got some notes here. I've picked up a couple of good tips that I'm definitely going to be using. So again, how can people get in contact with you? People can go to uh, AJA360.com and all my contact information is out there. Ida, can I give a gift to the listeners? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So I want everyone who's listening in to go to elliapps.com, that's spelled as E-L-L-E-A-P-P-S.com. Uh, there is a tab called blog and click on that tab. And when you scroll down, you'll see the first uh, blog article, which is about how to choose a company to develop a mobile app. And this is my gift to you. There is no login or anything like that. Just click on that blog article and read about 
when you are thinking about choosing an app developer, certain few things which you can look for in selecting that app. Uh, in the in selecting that app developer is listed in this blog article. Mm-hmm. So that is my gift to your audience. Oh, nice! Thank you so much. Absolutely, yeah. thank you, thank you. I'll be going over there myself. <laughs> very good, very good. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, it has been a great collaboration with you. We're looking forward to having you back to get into more of this because I think people need to hear about this often because it mm-hmm. took me a minute to get my free Google website off. Right. You know, I kept putting it off. I kept putting it off. And then one day I just said, I'm going to do this and get it done. And it has made a difference. Uh, I think that I get some um, organic people to my products and services. Yeah. And I can see it. So I'm sorry I didn't do it sooner, but it's done now. And Very that good. SEO thing is so important. And having somebody to manage it, I think, is really important because, like you said, Google changes every minute, every day, every week. The algorithm change, like all of the social media platforms. Everything changes, like, before you can blink your eyes, change. And yeah. as a business owner, most of us can't keep up with that. We yeah, absolutely that. right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, it's important uh, if you want to get serious about attracting organic traffic. Important that uh, try to have someone managing it for you rather than trying to do it on your own. You can set up your Google My Business profile by yourself. It only takes five minutes to set it up, and maybe another twenty five minutes or so half an hour altogether to configure it. But um, when it comes to uh, then keeping up with it and making sure you are doing the right thing, you are having the right keywords plugged in, it's extremely hard for someone who doesn't live in our world to, to try to do it. So I, I highly recommend ha- having someone managing it for you, someone who knows what they're doing, uh, managing it for you, where you will start seeing results rather than just you know spinning wheels and uh, not really getting anything out of it. Absolutely. Well, AJ, thank you so much. We appreciate you on this Memorial Day talking to us about what's important for our businesses. You know, it's a lot of competition out there. It's a lot of noise. And we got to stay on top of what works and, you know, getting your business out there. So we appreciate you stopping by and sharing that with us and we're looking forward to more collaborations with you absolutely thank you very much Ida and Ruth for having me on the uh, 2022 Memorial Day podcast (laughs) it's uh, it's wonderful uh, uh, sharing uh, uh, what I know this evening with you both and the listeners so uh, thanks again and I look forward to being on your show again absolutely yes thank you Thank you for tuning in to Just Minding My Business Radio. I'm your host, Ida Crawford. And I'm your co-host, Ruth Hansen. We hope you enjoyed the show and appreciate you stopping by. Many blessings to you and yours.